Hi, I'm Dave from Military Antiques Toronto, and today I'm going to discuss with you some of the M35 double deco helmets that I have in stock. So, this one is a nice early droop tailed eagle compared to, say, this eagle, which you'll see doesn't go down as far. It's not the same. Uh, this one here is named, that's the way I received it, it's an ET64. No dome stamp is visible. It's obviously got some serious service wear. And the chin strap is dated 1939 right there. This is another one, also named. Named twice, actually, because he had it named there and named there. This one is a ET66 also. You can't make out the dome stamp, and there is no maker mark that's legible, unfortunately. Sorry, dome stamp that's legible. Um, this one here is a, I gotta look at the tag, it'd be easier, an EF66, nice liner, size 59. Again, there's no dome stamp that's legible and the chin strap has been so not taken care of that it's too rough to read anything off of, unfortunately. This one here is not named. It is a SE68, so it's a good size. Can't read the size stamp on the, uh, you can just make it out, but I'm not gonna guess at what that says. No dome stamps visible. Again, you have the Eagle and the National Shield. We go off to the next one. This one is a SE68, big size, size 62 liner, no dome stamps visible. But I'll just give you some idea on what to look for on these. On this one, however, this is a large shield as compared to say this one, you see it's longer. That's, a, that's the regular size shield. This one's a longer one. It's a variant that you don't normally find. This helmet is an NS if I remember correctly. I always put tags on so I can figure out what the hell it is. It's an NS64 right there. And the liner has not been taken care of and has chin strap of course. So unfortunately you get what you get with these sometimes because they were used in service. Uh, now for two very special condition helmets. I'll move these to the side slightly so that I have some counter space. I have these two. So you notice the difference in the finish. Typical Luftwaffe gray, very special condition. You don't find, literally find really nice condition. This one here has some chips on the Eagle, on the decal. And also there, nothing major, but it is a spectacular condition helmet. It's virtually unissued. The dome stamp is there for 1939. It's a Quist in size 64. There's the size for the helmet liner, but unfortunately you can't make it out because it's been marred when they stamped it. The chin strap's dated 1940, as you can see right there. This one here is an even better condition, spectacular shape. Excellent deco or decal as Americans like to call it. Really nice paint, really nice national shield, untouched. The size is a 868. The chin strap is maker marked and dated 37. It has a name in it, looks like Mueller. And you can see the dome stamp clearly right there. Drawstring was never attached it looks like, or came with it this way. So. That's a spectacular condition one, which you don't normally find them in this condition. Normally they've been used and abused a bit, just like these have, which is fine. Sometimes they're more abused than others. So those are some of my helmets that I have in stock and on the website. For more items like this, follow me on YouTube or check out the website, militaryantiquestoronto.com. Thanks for looking.